So if you caught last week's video, you know how busy we were turning this shipping container behind me here into an off-grid bathroom for our geodesic dome. And definitely the most common question in last week's video is why the hell are we not insulating an outdoor off-grid bathroom when we live in Canada? And that's a really good question. But let's back up for a second. We're Tyler and Todd, and two years ago, after living full-time on the road, we parked our RV in the middle of the Canadian forest. Since then, we've been hard at work building a sustainable homestead that will meet all of our needs, from shelter to water, food, and even our electricity. We bring you along every Sunday for a new episode as we build this lifelong dream together. Consider subscribing, it really helps, but most importantly, enjoy the video and come along. In last week's video, when we were originally spray painting this, that day was a very long day. It was about 12 hours. And so by the time we got to doing the inside, the paint, it was too cold for the paint to cure properly. So we ended up with this weird pattern happening as well as drips that went all over the floor. With the way we're looking at it, and this is very like glass half full approach, but we would have had to re-sand the entire interior of the container and you know how that went for us last week. I feel like they're being stretched open right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. By doing what we should have done from the beginning, framing it and insulating it so no matter the time of year, we have a comfortable bathroom to use was we should have done it from the start, but yeah. I mean, mistakes, right? We're correcting it now, so. Exactly, we were rushing. We're trying to get the, as much done as we can before we get started on the house this spring, so. Yeah. It's gonna be a long day. We're gonna get to framing this up, and yeah, hopefully it does not take us too long. All right, let's do this. I'll be here a long time. I'll be in it for as long as you like. So we just finished the first wall and it took us a little bit to get it perfect. Still not quite there, but I do think it's gonna get easier as we build the other three. Like it's kind of nice to have the starting point now. Yeah, I think the tricky part about this is because it's a shipping container, obviously we can't attach the wood to the metal. So there's this really important thing called thermal bridging. And that means when the exterior of the container is hot, it will, or cold, uh, or cold. yeah, it will create, basically the imbalance of temperature creates moisture on the walls, so the wood can't actually touch the walls, so we need to wedge all of the framing into place, which is taking so much time. You should have worn a lab coat while explaining that, it was so scientific. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, we got the first one done. What we're gonna do now is start building off of them, and then it should hold it a little bit sturdier, because also, like, it's just a freestanding wall right now um, attached to the floor because we're building a box inside of a box. Inside the box. Inside the box. All right, I'm gonna set you down. We're gonna get going because I'm excited. I'm feeling motivated as we're going with this now. Yeah, I feel a lot. My confidence is building. Yeah, all right, let's get to it. Let's do it. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole! <laughs> Very proud of you. What did I say? A few hours of hard work later, and we have two walls finished. <laughs> I, like, I'm feeling pretty confident about this now. Like, we've got like a method and a routine. We've got it figured out. 100%. I think we're gonna be finished by 2024. I think we're gonna do it. <laughs> if you're watching this in the future, it is April 2022. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna cut another one of those. 84 and 5, 8. That's how you never forget a measurement. Sing it. Works. Every time. Every time. I'm not alone. No. And neither are you. It's a hell of a time to be living through. I'm not afraid. No. And you shouldn't be too. I've got one hand to hold the roof down and the other's
Stop doing whatever you're doing. You're not putting it at the right spot. I don't know how that You've been happens. catching it here. Oh. Here we go. Take 12. <laughs> Done? Done. How's it feel? Feels really good. It I, looks good. I'm proud of us. Like, yeah. look at this. We still have to do the ceiling. Um, we miscounted, because uh, we didn't do 16 centers on one wall. We did 12 by mistake. I don't know why we did that, but that means we're short like six two by fours. So we're gonna run to the store now and yeah. pick some up. All right, hey, and then to it's time to insulate, right? Yeah. You wanna go to oh. the store? Hey, maybe we can go through the drive through and... Oh, yeah. You want a Timbit? You want a Timbit? You want, you want a granddad buddy? All right, ready? Let's go. Welcome to our stuff, picking up and help you. Hi, can I get two regular, like, just plain Timbits? Just two plain Timbits? Yeah. All right, who was patient? I think Charlie was actually more patient than Eddie. Who wants it? Yes, I know. In back. There. Good buddies. Good Don't buddies. forget to brush my teeth after all this sugar. Yeah, it's <laughs> gone. <laughs> it's one Timbit per trip. All right, you ready to go get some two by fours? Yeah. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We didn't count how many we needed, did we? We're just gonna guess today. I'd say, let's just do an even two. Where are you going? Eight, nine. Do you want to just get the 11? Sure. You better have extra in case the myth cut guy. So we've got all of the lumber as well as a few more missing supplies um, that we needed to pick up. So yeah, we, we have everything. We got some paint because we didn't want to use the expensive metal paint on the inside since it's no longer going to be metal on the inside. Yeah, just regular old paint. Um, also, just to address the elephant in the room, I don't know why Todd and I decided to wear the exact same thing today. We're both matching and plaid. <laughs> I'm excited for the outfit we have planned for tomorrow. <laughs> oh my. Anyway, we are going to head home and continue on with this bathroom. Yeah, I know you feel it too. So we finished up the framing just in time. The weather is kind of turning on us, getting rainy again, but the ceiling is looking really good. I'm sure you probably noticed that the framing we did on the ceiling is different. It's not done incorrectly. The reason that we did it that way is because we want to leave more space for insulation, which is the next step. But before we can get started on that, I need to make a little quick fuel up to keep the energy levels up today. We have been on the AG1 train for over two years and I can confidently say it's made a huge difference in our daily life. Before taking AG1, we would hit that sort of brick wall at two in the afternoon when we just didn't have the energy to continue building. Since taking it though, it's just, it's unbelievable how big of an impact it's made. And not just in our energy, but our sleep patterns are better. We have better digestion. It's just, it's such a holistic approach to our health. The reason is it has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. They're super transparent with everything that it's included. You can read the ingredient list line by line and do research on what it's actually doing in your body and how it's contributing to your overall health. The thing that I love about AG1 is it's constantly evolving. In the last decade, there have been 52 iterations of this formula. Their scientists and researchers are constantly putting new ingredients in the formula to make sure it's giving you exactly what your body needs. I could go on and on about AG1, which is why we talk about it on our channel. It's something that we really believe in, but I'm gonna go bring this out to Todd and fuel up before we continue on. Thanks, love. We should probably do some research on how to do spray foam insulation. Oh yeah. <laughs> One problem at a time, we just finished framing. 
All right, so here's the situation. We spent the last few hours sort of on a little bit of a spiral because it started raining and the container got quite cold. It's not, Can I have the knife? yeah, it's not the warmest day here today and it needs to be a very particular temperature in order to do the spray foam insulation. So we've had these heaters set up here for the last hour and now the container is like warm to the touch. So it needs to be between 16 and 32 degrees. I don't know why it needs to be that specific, but it does. It's specific, but oddly a large range. Yeah. Like 16 degrees is a big range. I get 16 to 18, but 16 to 32 is a stretch. <laughs> Couldn't have been a nicer day for this, but <laughs> that's It's the warmest day in the next like foreseeable future. So. Yeah, and my paint suit fits. Got an extra large, looking pretty <laughs> sexy, I know. <laughs> so we're gonna get this figured out and Fingers crossed, it actually works. Never done this before. Want me to hold it? Yeah. You nervous? Yeah. You have to take the lock off. Weren't you paying attention in the video? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. That's looking good. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Okay, let me get gloves. Oh, I don't think we mentioned this, but you only have two minutes before this hardens. So once we start spraying, we basically can't stop. 30 seconds. 30 seconds? This, but that's why you lock this and this disconnects and this won't harden. Only this. I'm just gonna just go for it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Money don't come easy, so most of us are chained to being busy, so we can earn a little peace of mind, mind. What does it mean to be free, to be free in this American dream? So stressful. You're doing great though. Thanks. Looks good. You feel like warmer in here already. How was it? Hard. Yeah? Very hard, and look. <laughs> I guess it's time for a 2XL now. <laughs> um, this is a lot of work. It looks really good though. I don't want to go in too far, because poisonous uh, chemicals and whatnot, but yeah. I'm happy with it. It's, um, it's definitely going to be the warmest outhouse that ever existed. Yeah. All right, well, let's clean up. <laughs> you seem like you're in a bit of a mess. Oh my gosh, Todd, what a day. Yeah. Okay, well, we need to let this off gas. We're gonna- Is that thunder? Oh, it sounds like a spooky. Or maybe a plane? I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, we're gonna clean up, figure out what's haunting us in the skies, and we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hey, coming to help? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never enough for you, is it? Well, it was supposed to just be a quick, like, dumping some soil over here in the wheelbarrow, but then I realized that we had to dig all this up last year, and the wall got ruined, so I had to rebuild that before I could move the soil in, so that's why I'm a little behind. Just a super casual retaining wall, <laughs> built of slate, after the day we had. You know, it's I don't know where you get the energy. I don't know. Coffee. <laughs> Come here. Come show them the garden you did. So, part of the reason for all this is we just don't like the look of where we had to excavate and where like this forest meets so we're just hiding that transition with gardens <laughs> if you can't feed it make it beautiful <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good though yeah so i was actually able to take a few plants from around the yard that were ready to be like split um and put them in and then i'm a little bit ahead of the greenhouses so i gotta wait for those to open but <laughs> I think we've done enough for today. 
<laughs> like, let's go eat and get a good night's sleep. All right, let's call it. Okay, let's go. Good morning. We had an excellent sleep and we hit the ground running this morning. Tyler's got started on scraping off the spray foam that ended up on the stud where the wall is going to be. We have to remove all of that so it's flat to attach to. And he's using an ice scraper. <laughs> oh, that was, that was, the, that was a little close. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, um, it was obviously my first time spray foaming, so there was a lot of overspray, it's called. So luckily this ice pick is doing the trick. So I just need to remove all of this, and then we're gonna get started with an extra layer of insulation. It looks really good though, like for your first time. Thank you. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's good. Um, we watched some YouTube videos last night about ways that we can increase the efficiency even more than it already is. So right now we're sitting at about an R20, which is really good for such a small building, but we have leftover Reflectix. It's like this metal sort of foil bubble insulation. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is tack that up in all of this space in the cavities here to increase the insulation value even more. Yeah, so we're gonna get to that because then we're able to start attaching the ceiling, which I'm really excited for. Yeah, but first I'm gonna finish scraping off all of these areas and then we're gonna get going. Cool, I'm gonna go grab some Reflectix. I used to be a thing monster sleeping under my bed. Like how insulated do you think we should make this? It's your call. Because this is all you, so where do you want to stop? We established yesterday that it is not all me, it's partially them. So it's also you, you're a bad influence on my husband. So good news, I've brought Todd over to the dark side of doing a double layer of the Reflectix insulation. We're gonna double bubble. Double bubble, it's just the way to do it. Like the spray foam, yeah, is overkill for a building like this, but we have this leftover from another project, so why not utilize it? And it will increase the total R value for the building to 40, um, 41 actually, which it's is- It's pretty huge. Yeah, so every, watt of power that we put into this, we're basically gonna be keeping all of it, which is gonna make it really cozy and cheap to heat this in the winter, which is the most important thing. It's gonna be warm poops. Warm poops all around. So what we should do is put uh, furring strips. They're little um, tiny pieces of wood that you attach after you put a layer of insulation. But we looked into it and it's okay because we're gonna be using pine board. It's not like drywall, which needs to be perfectly rigid. So we're gonna add another layer on top of here and then put our ceiling over top of that. Yeah. Plus, there, another reason we didn't want to go with the furring strips is we're already lower on the ceiling than we wanted the building to be, so that still would, lots of height. Yeah. Like Todd's over six feet, so yeah, it's not lots bad. of height. All right, let's get to it. Let's double bubble and keep moving. Ready to start the ceiling? Yeah, yeah. So the plan is we'll do so we can oh so we can this see. way I can still easily find. Gotcha. And then we'll be able to close it up once we get a couple on. Okay. your star, let that spotlight shine on you. Piece. The last piece of the ceiling. Look how nice this is. It looks so, so good. I'm really, really happy. I'm it's, proud of us. I'm proud of us too. And it turns out installing ceiling is actually surprisingly easy. So if you've never tried it, try it. Yeah. Hard on the neck though. Yeah. It's all above your head. It's hard looking up, but it's got me really fired up for the house. Like I'm excited to do this. Yeah. Do you want me to help you there, love? Yeah. It's a two person job. I don't know why you picked them up yet. Okay. So. We actually have to have a serious conversation now. Oh shit. About how we intend to do the Reflectix. From the bottom to the top. To the top. Are we doing and two? And then we have to cut our piece to go because off like, like we I have get to that do the it roof all, got done like that. Do like we, we do the south wall, which is the warmest, and we leave the north. The north will remember. 
This, I'm sure it's looked like two minutes in YouTube time. This is eight hours so far today. I mean, we've got a lot done, but it's been smokes. a long day. Yeah, it's been a really long day. So, what Tyler is getting started on now is we're doing our final wrap of Double Bubble, and then we're going to just kind of go around the room and then tape it. Yeah. And we've adjusted where we want to end off for today. We're going to finish by putting two coats. <laughs> Shocker. Well, the day's almost done. So we're going to finish by putting our stain on the ceiling so that way that's done. And then we'll pick back up tomorrow with the walls. They're I don't not know going why you're today. worried about that stuff when we still have to wrap this whole, like we still have like two more hours of bubbling, my love. Okay. All right, well, we're just gonna <laughs> get back to bubbling, I guess, so. Oh, we did find out one thing. Um, earlier we said this is Reflectix. This is actually no-name aluminum foil. What's Bubble, the difference? Bub I don't know. I Well, like, it's like saying you need a Kleenex. Um, you know? So. Makes sense. No idea if Reflectix is actually good, but Crayon. This... Saying you need a crayon, that's a brand. Oh, that's Crayola. Crayons are actually an item, aren't they? See what I'm working with? Guys? <laughs> it's been a long day. All right, I'm gonna set you down, help Tyler, and we're gonna push through and get this finished. This isn't gonna be two hours. This is going way quicker. Yeah, this is gonna work. Oh man, maybe we'll try and get the floor down then. All right, so after a lot of back and forth and deliberating, we decided to press on and continue with this today, even though we've accomplished an incredible amount, Todd did make a really good point. If we take the time now to fill the um, all the holes from installing the ceiling panel earlier, we'll be able to give it time to dry so we can sand it and then put two coats of stain. So tomorrow we can just install the shiplap and that's gonna go really smooth. But what I'm gonna do is install the insulated subfloor um, and try and stay out of Todd's way. I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna go very well, love. No, I don't think so either. So we're gonna use the insulated subfloor that we always use, the insole armor. Um, it's this stuff here, like the giant Lego blocks. Ooh, oopsie. Um, it's like the best. It's gonna give a nice insulated floor, so. It's gonna be toasty in here. It's gonna be, it's significantly warmer already. It's pretty cool. Okay, pressing on. Last piece of tape? Yeah. Perfect. Look. Uh, Isn't wow. that crazy? That's so amazing. Yeah. It looks really good in there though. Yeah. I'm um I'm really impressed, but also very tired. Um, yeah. this we were just saying this is probably like our busiest day we've done probably since like last year. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's definitely definitely been a while since we've done this much work. Yeah, I'm really proud of us though. And it's good because then tomorrow when we wake up, all we have to do is the flooring and then the shiplap and oh, I stain in the stain. ceiling. Yeah. I want to do that. So I might get up early and stain it. That way when you get out of bed or like if you want to get up and make breakfast, I'll stain. That's actually a good, that's a good idea. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. I just want to get it done so that way it's not getting on our new floor. <clears throat> Look at that. Wow. So, gonna be nice. Gonna be pretty cool. High five today, buddy. High five. You crushed it. All Dinner. right. Yeah, let's go relax. Yeah. It's a beautiful night out. It is. Okay. <sighs> Catch up with you in a bit. Hey, buddy. 
So I'm sure this probably won't come as much of a surprise to really anyone, but Todd decided to stain the ceiling. So he's been spending the last few hours out there doing that. And I've been making dinner. We're gonna have some tacos tonight. Hey, Lily. Hey, what do you got? <laughs> Say hey. All the animals like come over when they hear the camera turn on. Not this one. Hey, buddy. All right, let's go check in on Todd and see how he's making out. Hey. Hey. Wow. Do you see any drips anywhere? No. Holy, look at the green. Yeah. Really makes it look good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And it's also pretty warm in here, considering there's no heat. Just my, like... Your hot body. <laughs> <laughs> like my breath. <laughs> um, the tacos are ready. Oh, really? Yeah. You oh, ready yeah. for them? Yeah, I'm ready to crush a couple tacos. <laughs> good job. <gasps> All right. We will see you next Sunday. Have a great week, guys.